Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for the single Leos, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Um, the other thing you do is now we have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks. Okay, so, Leo, on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for your current situation, it's going to be the Eight of Cups reversed, Leo. I don't... Okay, yes. Eight of Cups reverse. And then going by the bottom of the deck for the other. Which is just by the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. Ten of Cups reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. So there's someone that you're either thinking about giving a second chance or they're trying to make their way back into your life. Either way, this is someone that you stop speaking to. And even while you're with them, you did not feel happy with them. You felt tense. You did not. They did not bring joy into your life, Leo. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords reverse. We have the Hierophant reverse. This is Taurus energy. We have the Hangman, Pisces energy, Ten of Swords. Four of Wands reverse. Leo, I already that person from your past. They lied to you a lot. You did not. It was a very not stable relationship with this person. And I feel like even if they were to make a return in your life. I don't really see them changing a whole lot, and I feel like it just end again. You'd almost have this sense of feeling stuck with them. Okay, so, having a look at what's coming towards you, on the bottom of this deck we have the Temperance card. This is Sagittarius energy. It's Temperance card. Mm. You may have a Sagittarius coming into your life, or this can just talk about patience, balance, you can talk about waiting waiting for the white ah, right one to come into your life you have the tower we have the ace of pentacles we have the fool so this can be aries energy we have the eight of cups and then we have the empress so this could also be seen as taurus energy Leo, your best chance in love here is going to be with newer connections. It's not anything old. The minute you kind of fully leave old connections behind is when you're going to have a lot more success in newer connections. Okay, it's like newer. I clarified. Messages for you. We have number 36 with Distant Horizon, so this can represent long distance. Uh... Relationships can also represent this. You know, the one that is going to be your long term partner here, Leo. This person is not in your life yet. You do not even know this person. We have children, so something with a child here. You could have a child, or maybe this person has a child. We have a past life relationship. This could be the one. Divine timing, cycles, sacred journey, we have fall. Yes, Leo, I feel like the right one for you, you're, you could be meeting them in fall, or maybe dating them in fall, but it does not feel like this person, this is not someone that you met yet, this is not someone that you know. Okay, and the reasoning of that is because the Sacred Journey card. So you need to go on your own journey here, work on yourself, discover who you are, you know that that sort of thing, your spirituality as well. So that's what's needed for you in the meantime. Okay, so Leo, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.